guys what's going on welcome back to another video i know it's been a minute but i have a good one for you guys today today we are going to be replacing these fog lights on my jeep we're gonna be replacing the housing as you guys can see these are like really old i'm assuming that they're the factory ones um and i've been wanting to do this ever since you know i did the grill and i restored the headlights i feel like the fog lights kind of just look a little bit out of place so we're gonna be fixing that today with these ones that we have right here. As you can see, these ones are a little bit tinted and the inside is like um, darkened, not black, but they're like a gray. And I just think that it's gonna look really good with the black grill. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right in. The first step I'm gonna do is, um, you do have to do this from underneath of the car. So I'm gonna put my Jeep up on ramps just to make it a little easier and give me some room to work. Okay, so before I change them out, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with them on um, so that we have a good comparison for when it's complete. I'm now under the car um, on the driver's side right by your washer fluid tank. This is your fog light right here. And the first step is going to be to obviously unplug the light, which is just a normal um, twist it and it should pull right out. Um, in this case, I'm not actually changing my light bulb. These are still working and fine, so I'm just gonna leave it connected. If you were changing your light bulb, you would want to disconnect this. It's just a simple clip like a normal uh, light bulb is. It's really easy to replace. It's kind of hard to get you guys up in there, but to replace the actual housing, there are two torque screws right here. They are T20. You'll need to take those out. And then there's also a few clips that you'll have to undo. I'll show you guys those. I grabbed the light, so hopefully you guys can see better. There's a little black clip in there, um, right there. There's two more on the top as well that you have to undo those. And then once you undo those, you should be able to pull the fog light housing out from the front of the Jeep. All right, I got all those clips undone, so this should just pop right out. And I have my new one sitting here. Let me see if I can get you to focus and show you guys this. When you get a replacement fog light, I don't know if you can see that barely right there, it says top. That way you know that the fog light goes in this way. And I know I said I wasn't gonna be replacing the light bulbs, but these come with new light bulbs, so I might as well just replace them while I'm at it. And the new one's going in, I'm just gonna push it into place a little bit. And again, just make sure wherever it says top that you actually have that side facing up. And then we have to go underneath again and just make sure that those clips are in place and replace those two um, torque screws that we took out before. Since I'm replacing the light bulb anyway, I figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys. This part here should just push off and the light bulb should come off. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. I had to use two hands to get this off, but once you get this clip over wherever it clips on, it's really easy to slide off. I just need two hands to do it. Uh, so now let's go ahead and clip this in here and just make sure that it's a fit and it looks like it does fit. So let's um, make sure that these clips are in place. So there's one right there and there's two more on the top. And then your T-Torques that we took out, they go here and right up here behind this. First one is in and I think it looks really good. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it looks like compared to the white one. Here is the old crusty one and here is the new one. One thing I don't like is the yellow lights so I'll probably change them to white lights, possibly LED lights. We'll see what we can find or what we can do but I just like that they're much clearer. I'm thinking that at night it will look a lot different, um, but just in the daylight, it's kind of hard to tell. both sides are done now and I think this looks so good I think it like pulls together the whole front end of the Jeep because before like I said the stock ones that were kind of crusty they looked a little out of place but these look so much better give you guys a close-up 
I like that they're like a little bit um, tinted and dark, but not uh, super dark, if you know what I mean. But I think that they just kind of pull together the front end of the Jeep. And then As you guys know, the back end also has um, aftermarket tail lights. And this brand is Spider, and the fog lights are also from Spider. Just turn these on real quick. There we go. That looks so much better. They're much clearer than they were before, and it just pulls together the whole front of the Jeep. These are the same brand of lights that we did on the rear for the tail lights. They're Spider. Um, I got these on Amazon, I believe is where I picked these up. I can leave a link for them in the description below. Um, so make sure you guys go and check them out. And I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy content like this as I'm still trying to complete the modifications on my Jeep. Um, let me know down in the comments if there's anything more specific you want to see or if you like seeing content like this. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos coming soon. See you in the next one.